somehow I am already behind my getting my life together schedule. Cool. This was supposed to be made at 6 a.m. this morning. I'm starting a job next week. The latest that I could wake up to make sure that I get there on time is 6 a.m. So as you can see, I don't usually wake up at 6 a.m. This is me at nine. And so I'm trying to reset and I thought I was gonna wake up today, but it didn't happen. So there's always tomorrow. <sighs> Here we are. Please excuse the mess in the back. We have been here a month now and I have effectively lost all will to clean and try to organize the place. I started off strong and then literally just like fell off so quickly. But anywho, this is a vlog about me trying to get my life together, start a new routine and just overall like reset. Since living in Seattle, I've realized that I have some sort of like seasonal depression and with that, I feel like I lose all ability to take care of myself. That sounds dramatic. It's not like horrible, but just like a lot of daily tasks are really hard for me. It's like I have to force myself to shower, force myself to do a lot of different things. And so all of that doesn't come as easily when I'm like this. Typically in LA, the sun is out and I feel like the Seattle gloom really got to me this year. Whenever I fall into like any type of depression, I don't really feel like gray like i still like to go out i'm still very social and my mood is generally fine but it's just a lot of those like bare minimum maintenance tasks that go like completely out the window and it's always been like that i feel like i probably have some form of like high functioning depression because i can't get the things done that i want to get done like i could still do everything but i guess like the things people don't see behind closed doors and those like completely fall off and it's not that bad right now like it's not horrible but it's noticeable enough for me to have to recognize it and so this is my attempt to kind of like pull myself out of that and just cover a couple different tasks that I've been putting off like some cleaning some organizing I need to do my laundry today I also signed myself up for some pole dancing classes because I have had my pole for a while but I've never officially taken a pole dancing class and so today will be the first day that I take a class and I'm gonna try and vlog that with you guys today so I figured if I'm gonna vlog that I was like Sydney might as well just like vlog the whole day and like do a whole thing so that's why we're here today it is now 9 43 I'm gonna do a, like a little light makeup routine so this will actually be my first time officially applying all of this to my face I'm not really like a daily makeup wear person just because i'm lazy the person that helped me at sephora they're really helpful and they gave me i think some really good products and so hopefully it comes out well we'll see i also don't want it to be super heavy because i am doing a pull class at like 11 o'clock today and i don't want to sweat it all off because i am a face sweater i feel like that doesn't look any different it's so hard for me to sometimes associate with my mental health and wellness just because I feel like one, I'm already very quick to deny it. Um, and I think that's just because of how I was raised low-key. But also, I feel like it's kind of hard for me to associate with it sometimes because I feel like the symptoms that I express and experience are never so extreme that I feel like I would need to like be medicated or anything. And so for that reason, I kind of like just brush them off. And I feel like even me trying to like quantify how bad it is is kind of like a defense mechanism for me as well so i'm trying to get better at that though and just kind of like learning to acknowledge where i am fully even if it's not like on an extreme end and finding ways to better accommodate myself i guess you could say do i look any different moving on to mascara i had this other brand for brown mascara and i loved it and the brand is espresso so 
if you're in the market for a brown mascara espresso check it out see this is a really nice mascara but it's just kind of dark i feel like my other brown mascara was a little more brown this is more of like an espresso brown ironically where the espresso brand brown was more of like a true brown and i feel like that's what kind of like made it pop a little bit i've never done like a full spend the day with me because i feel like i really don't do anything like remarkable day to day i've never been like oh let me just record this entire day because i feel like if i were to do that i would be adding a whole bunch of stuff i don't typically do into my day just to make it like an interesting spend the day with me i'm enjoying it thus far actually like i'm having a fun time i don't know about y'all but on to the blush it is glossier actually pause we're going to actually use this eyebrow tamer it's by pixie i don't know why but i like to work up to down <laughs> So that's why we are halting everything else and putting this on my eyebrows. I feel like it makes a world of a difference, especially for my eyebrows because my eyebrows be going in all different directions. I feel like my eyebrows are also like cousins, not even sisters. Like I have to work so hard whenever I do my eyebrows to make them look like relatively the same i feel like i'm always the most self-conscious about my eyebrows which is so funny because people always compliment my eyebrows but i think it's because i put so much work into making them presentable in my eyes that they probably just come off as like extra nice at times i wouldn't say that this is a time that that's happening i don't like the shape right now but when i do like reshape my eyebrows and stuff i always get a lot of compliments now for the blush i don't even know really where to apply it that's the other thing too oh i think that was a lot i guess i could always wipe it off too if i do too much so i should probably just like go for it i don't even know if i'm applying this where i'm supposed to that's the other thing though did it do something all right this is my final layer if it's too much it's too much if it's too little no one has to know that we tried this and this is the color storm it's the color storm i really like it well you definitely see it now oh my god oh my god i feel like i look like a clown i think we're gonna end up wiping a lot of this off i'm not even gonna lie i don't think i like it it's so funny the sun is actually coming out right now so all the light is going behind me i'm not gonna move but sorry for the horrible lighting oh i feel like i should have done the liner after the mascara you know what i never got when moi's muas apply their makeup why do they do their eyes first and then their like foundation i would think you would want to start with like you know the foundation and then do the eyeshadow so you don't have to like work around the makeup and maybe it's like cleaner in the end that way and you don't have to like fix as many mistakes you know and the foundation covers it but that like never made sense to me really also shout out to us lefties outside of like literally just like writing things with my left hand i'm practically like ambidextrous in every other way like if i'm working on the right side of my face i'm using my right hand and on my left side of the face i'm using my left i feel like i learn most things the right-handed way unless it's like truly just more comfortable to do it the left-handed way i've been like pole dancing I've noticed that when I watch tutorials, they typically spin in a way that's like right-handed dominant. I'm trying to imagine what direction, but I don't think the direction ma matters. But like, I have to flip a lot of the tricks that I'm trying to learn so that my left hand is my dominant hand whenever I go to do like moves. So it's just kind of like an additional unnecessary hurdle sometimes for me to get over oh they're so different oh my god oh my god am at the pole studio um luckily it has parking right out the front i was kind of nervous about parking and all that but i'm nervous i don't know about you i get a little 
I get a little gassy when I'm nervous. Tummy hurting. Uh, I don't know if I should go in. I'm probably gonna go in. There's like 10 minutes to go, so there's not that much time. I came here, I think, at the perfect time, but I don't know if I'm gonna record inside just because this is the first time I've been here. I wanna kind of like feel the vibes before anything else, so yeah. All right, y'all, back in the car. Uh, just completed my first class. I did not record anything. I was shy, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll show you what I learned when I get home. So let's drive home safely. Inside, sitting on the ground. Everyone say hi to Faye. Hi, Faye. That class was like so fun for real though. Um, oh my God. I will most definitely be back. I know that for sure. But I'm sitting on the ground because look at these. Only focus on this box right here. You see this? My cats are evil. They ripped up the carpet. Look at that. So for those of you who don't know, my boyfriend's car got stolen when we first moved to Seattle. And in the trunk was my sewing machine. And I was really like, oh my god, girl. And I was actually really sad when I found out that my sewing machine was stolen because one, the insurance for the car sucked and they basically said we're not giving you any money for anything lost. So I wouldn't be able to buy a new one, but also I hadn't really used it. I was just starting to get excited about learning to sew my own clothes and make things and I had a whole bunch of ideas and in coming to Seattle, I just felt really inspired and I was like, oh, I'm gonna use my sewing machine this year and then it was stolen and I was like, okay, well damn, I guess I'm not. But my sister surprised me and got me this sewing machine for my birthday this year. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, pause. Um, I just got off the phone with my sister. Uh, yeah, that was nice. Back to what I was talking about. Let me show you guys what I learned at pole class. All right. I don't know if this angle is gonna really show you everything. Let's focus on the mirror. So, what did I learn? What did I learn? We did a little beginner, kind of like flow, and start like this. And it was just around the pole, around the pole, one, two, three, four, Fireman, down, booty, 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 booty. Leg extended, up, and that. Then we have, ba, 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 down, and up. Ta-da! That's what I learned. It is about like three o'clock now and it is lunchtime. Another thing that I'm doing as a part of my like reset and just in general like a little challenge for myself is I'm actually going to try intermittent fasting for this year. Oh no. I was a little reluctant to share that with y'all just because I feel like when people think of intermittent fasting they think of weight loss and Weight loss isn't necessarily the goal that I have in mind. Intermittent fasting has a lot of other, just in general, health benefits. Overall, typically people feel a lot more energized and also it's actually really good for our mental health and just our overall bodily functions to go through periods without eating. And I'm gonna link an article for you guys because I'm not explaining it that well, but I'm gonna link some things below if you're interested in intermittent fasting. But the way that I'm intermittent fasting is I'm actually doing an eating window and so my like tentative daily eating window is 9 a.m to 3 p.m i'm a little flexible with it just because this is my first time like truly trying to commit to intermittent fasting so i'm not like a professional or anything and i want to be kind to myself and make sure that i do this the right way and i don't create any negative effects because i'm trying to fast and like cutting out certain times that i could eat like i want it to very much be healthy so this is basically my last big meal for the day and the thing that's been really difficult for me honestly is actually hitting my protein goals for the day because i am trying to build muscle as well and i don't necessarily want to lose muscle mass i need to technically be eating my weight and protein that would be like 160 grams of protein a day which i don't 
think I have ever really done. I don't even think this is like a protein dense meal. I think I'm literally just loading up on carbs right now, but that's all I had in the fridge. I need to go out and buy some more things. So if anything, I'm hoping it will keep me full at least. Give my body something to run off of. We got the garlic bread, pasta, and then I have like, um, it's like a green goddess salad blend. I think I made a friend at my pole studio. But that's exciting. Hopefully I can have another class with them in the future. That would be great. And that's like fully another reason why I wanted to take a pole class in the first place too, was because I wanted more spaces where I can connect with people and make friends in a new city. And so it's kind of exciting that at my first class, I feel like I connected with someone and we talked for a little bit after the class too. So I'm like kind of excited. Okay, I'm excited. I like meeting new people. I don't like going out, but I love connecting with people. They contradict themselves in a lot of ways, but it's nothing against people as to why I don't like going out. It's more so I just feel a lot more comfortable at home. I like live in my head 50% of the time anyway, so I get to just like be completely delusional at home without interruption. Mm, the cat's got the summies. This was pretty much it for what I wanted to talk about today. The sun is like low key out though, so I might go to the park after this. Maybe you guys can come to the park with me. I kind of enjoyed bringing my camera around today and I definitely want to get more confident like being out and recording and trying to kind of just like be less self-aware in those spaces. I'm sorry, less self-conscious in those spaces. So yeah, I definitely want to do more of these. Maybe I could do like a monthly. Um, I'm going to set it up monthly because I don't want to push myself and feel stressed, but maybe like a monthly or every couple weeks do a vlog to just kind of like catch up and talk to you guys. Ow! I did not end up going to the park. Um, I actually went down a whole rabbit hole. I just got these like carpet protectors for the cats because they've managed to dig up every corner of the carpet and so I was like let me just cut one and put one down and then I'll leave after that. I could still go to the park technically but there wouldn't really be any light and I don't really feel like doing a whole setup at the park at night so I'm just gonna consider this the end of the vlog for today. So yeah that's just like a little update on my life where I'm at and what I'm doing. I'm officially making y'all my like accountability partners. Be on my ass about it too like ask me questions say are you still intermittent fasting and I'm gonna be like yes. Or I might be like, no, and then I'll let you know why. I'm going to use this video to give myself a little bit of incentive and hopefully vlog to vlog, I can at least say that there's some consistency. I hope to grow from this point and yeah, bring y'all along for the journey. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy healing. All right, bye y'all.